Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday, October 24th, 2011. We're going to go over a quick recap of all the trades that we took or attempted to take this morning in the live trading room. Um, it, it was an uneventful morning for the ES. We had stuff that we wanted to take, but we didn't actually take any trades on the ES this morning. Um, nothing actually nothing completely set up for us we never had a complete setup on the ES this morning uh, well I say that we had one during the break all right um, did we no we didn't we didn't we needed a fresh bubble and we didn't get one the YM though did have a couple of trades so on the morning for the ES guys we have zero ticks zero trades and on the morning for the YM we had two trades all right uh, this morning we took a divergence trade right in here. Um, this was right after 10 o'clock. What we were looking for here was for these lines to be down here oversold and this line to be overbought. And at that point, I was saying if we got a close above the MA1 within five ticks, I think is what I said, of the MA1, so my stop could be below the MA1, I would take the trade. And just as the words came out of my mouth, it happened. So I jumped in right here at 97 at 11,797. I jumped in right there. And I was saying that I thought it was going to get up here to this level right here, the prior swing. And it did. Once I had about 12, I think I had about 12 ticks profit in the trade, I moved my stop up to plus 10 ticks. And that's where it ended up coming back to get me right here at plus, plus 10 ticks at 807. Right there at 807. Um, let me slide that down. At 807. And then it did go up right to that spot there and it bounced off it a little bit and moved up quite a bit after that. All right, so I went, you could have had a 40 tick trade right there in that one. I took 10 and I was happy with that. Um, the next one happened over here. We had a bearish cross, price pulled up here and I sold right there with uh, seven ticks risk. It stopped me out for it and actually slipped me one tick for an eight tick loss. And then price kept moving up. We actually just had another trade right here. Um, any of you who have been around for a while know that the orange arrows are trades that set up that I did not take. And the yellow arrows are trades that set up that I did take. Um, and that was that was pretty much it. So it's been a it was a quiet morning. We ended up with just plus two points here on the on the YM for the morning session. Alright. Um I'll go over here on the ES and I'll show you a couple of things that we looked at over here on the ES. Um, we were looking this morning. This was this was the first pullback to the BBC this morning after the bullish cross back here. Okay, price pulled away from it and pulled back into it right here. Um, we did not take this trade because the cycle was overbought. Right, so we let that trade ride and. Then by the time it happened again, we were right inside the zones here, and the cycle was headed down, suggesting we we're going to move down. It came back over here, and I tried to take this trade this morning, but it didn't pull back far enough. And then we printed a resistance dot right up above us, so I took the trade off. And in any case, it didn't pull back far enough, but I took the trade off anyway. And right over here, it pulled back again, but this, um, in this case, the cycle again was not in favor of a, of a long trade here. All right, so right now we just had a bearish cross, so if price pulled away and pulled back up, the cycle would be out of sync again with the trade, all right? So <laughs> so, uh, so that was it, that was our morning. We just got two points on the YM. That was it, it was a pretty quiet morning for us, unfortunately, all right? We did not, we did not have a lot of trade opportunities. All in all, we didn't lose any money, so it was, uh, you know, it's okay. If the market doesn't give it to you, you can't take it from it. That's pretty much the way the, the way it is. You know, if the market provides the opportunities, we take them. If the market doesn't provide the opportunities, we don't try to create them. All right, and that is it. So I am gonna wrap it up right here, and we'll be done with the recap.